will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Ready. Right down around the 26-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. One yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. They'll bring him down at the 41. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. a good five yards. That brings him second and five. Second down and five. Ball on the 46. They bring him down. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Six-yard line. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Steps out of bounds at the 44. Here's the eighth play of the series. Throws out and throws his hands. Number 18, he intends on the on the way. Fourth down. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Iowa's a team and a program that year in, year out's got 1,000 yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two. And they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them. And sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Four down, four down. Mike 15. Mike 15. Huzzah! Flag 98. Flag 98. Hey, I need one over here. I need one over here. Huzzah! On the ground, up the middle. And he's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. And the quarterback picks up about three on the draw. That's good for the three yards. That makes it second and eight. Hey, 
from their own 40-yard line. Second down. Watch 15. Watch 15. Mike 15. Fires it out. And down he goes at about the 47-yard line. Number 15 with the tackle at the 47-yard line. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Right, fellas, right. Let's go. Hey, Mike's, Mike, Mike's 15. Tackle made at about the 45. This one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. Second it's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's got his man across the middle. Gets it. He's in space. He's pushed out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. That brings up second and one. Go! No. You ready? A one-yard gain by the halfback. Gain of one on the play. That'll make it third and one. Taken down at about the 43-yard line. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. Booming kick. He takes it at the 12. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. The Cornhuskers really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And he has it on the corner. He takes it right side for a good game. We played one quarter. Still no score. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Mike 15. Mike 15. And he's taken down at the 26. From their own 26-yard line. Third down. And it's the senior. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. Number six makes the tackle at the 39-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Ready! Ready! He fights forward to about the 40. That brings up second and nine. Man left, man left. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 40. And he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it.
They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. This is a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. He fields a punt at the 20. He's taken down at the 24. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Second down and around one yard to go. Ball on the 33. And he's level at the 42. He fights forward to about the 43. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 43. Gets to about the 44-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Concentration to pull it in. Tackle at the 46. From the 46 yard line, it's first down. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down at the 43. Gaining three yards. That makes it second and eight. to him before he could get back to the line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. This is the eighth play of this drive. Ross is out to the tailback on the screen. And he tackles him hard at the 34. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Got his tailback open, and he can't hang on. This is the 10th play of this drive. That makes it second and 10. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. They've been two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Nebraska could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and he just drilled it from long range. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. 
there hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he is drilled at the 36-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Out of bounds, right around the 42-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's hit immediately. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. And they're moving the ball well because this quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. He's at the 40. Halfback's got it on a quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. And he's immediately tackled. That makes it first and ten. Patriot! Patriot! He scrambles, runs with it, and he's got room. Slides down. Throws out, got his back again, and he's tackled at the three-yard line. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. We played a half of football. And this one's not an up at three. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, guys, welcome back. Second half is just about set to start, and we're dead even. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. Second and 10. Ball on the 25. Here's a 
first green pass. Gets it to the back. Knocked out of bounds around the 33-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. 15 the mic. I got 15. Black 90. Black 90. He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. That brings him second and five. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Watch the team. Now he's scrambling. Dives forward. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. From the 48-yard line, first down. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Watch 17, watch 17. Scrambling around, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Here we go. Quick throw to the back. It's incomplete. And this play is number eight on the drive. He heaves it deep. Makes the catch and look out for the 10. And a huge touchdown play. Tacks on the extra point. An eight-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 10-3. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's out of bounds at the 29. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. Loss of one yard on the play. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Oh, excellent punt. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Just throws this one away. Great shot by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's second and 10. Ball on the 34. Iowa is up a score. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Nice grab on the play. 
Tackle made at the 47. Call it a gain of 19 yards. First down. From the 47 yard line, first down. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop around the 47 yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Good stop there by the freshman. You got to be careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. He's taken down at the 37. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He's taken down around the 29-yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it first and ten. Watch 15. Watch 15. Mike 15. They go to the left for a nice game. Second and six. Ball on the 25. That makes it second and six. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. It's the ninth play of the drive. Iowa up seven points. Here he goes. He's tackled around the seven-yard line. He goes over 100 yards in receptions. You got to love this quarterback-receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Four down, four down. Mike 15. Mike 15. Ready. Black 85. Black 85. Goes incomplete, intended for his wide outs. Number 11 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings, that brings up a second and goal. Ball on the seven. He gets out to about the six yard line. This is the 12th play of this drive. Quickly, touchdown! And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he adds the extra point. for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Hawkeyes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. At the 34-yard line. That's a on That brings up short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Brought down at the 45-yard line. They're just one quarter away. The Hawkeyes lead it by two touchdowns.
All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That's a loss of one yard on the way. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 44-yard line, second down. Go. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start, start offense. offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Zips it to the back, tackled for a loss. Loss of three yards on the play. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. And he shoved out of bounds at the 47 yard line. That's good for the game of 17 yards. That'll make it fourth and two. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin them up and cause the turnover on downs. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. From the 33 yard line, it's first down. He makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line. down and they need to get it to the 23. Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down at the 23. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. They like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. Just under three to go in regulation. Ready. Green 19. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From the 22 yard line, second down. Four down, four down. Watch the team. Red 85. Red 85. They run left and he'll lose yardage. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the run. The Cornhuskers taking their first time out of the half. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. Big opening. And they get nice yardage on that run. Nebraska's called their final timeout. From the one yard line, it's second down. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. And he's tackled around the one yard line. A one yard gain by the halfback. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground.
And this is the 10th play of the drive. bring him down for a loss on the play. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. A little over a minute in the game. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Iowa kicked this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Once and all, going deep. Caught with room to work. And he finally steps out at the 21. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. Empty backfield, quarterback no, no, in the gun. Five wide receivers. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He goes out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. That brings him second to the Cut and left, cut and left. Yeah, let's get second. Oh, key eight, key eight. Pulls in the pass and steps out. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 11. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Nice run up the middle. And he stops the clock with a spike. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Here they come. Finds the man. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. You know, if a quarterback has a strong arm, one of his favorite routes is the post. But I thought the quarterback did a really good job here of using his eyes to move the safety, to open up that void in the defense, and then he made the good throw to the receiver for the touchdown. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to fire quickly. Touchdown! Here's the extra point to draw within three points. 
He makes the PAT. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Hawkeyes come out on top, 20 to 17. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? I was impressed with both teams out there, but the difference in this game came down to execution and playing mistake-free football. Nebraska made a few more mistakes in this game than their opponents. And whether it's turnovers, penalties, missed tackles, or blown assignments, you just can't afford to make mistakes and expect to win. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.